NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. In this video, we will discuss about counters. How to find the how many number of replies is required to design synchronous counter, ripple counter, ring counter, and Johnson counter. These concepts are very important for triply, ECE, and instrument lesson students. At the end of the video, you can solve any type of questions. So we will discuss. First, we will discuss about synchronous counter. Number of flip flops required to design the synchronous counter. We know that a flip flop stores a single bit data. Let us take a two bit uh, counters. States are the possible the possible states are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, four states. So to design the four states of synchronous counter, we need two flip flops. Figures each state represents two bits. For the four states, minimum two digits, minimum two flip flops are required. Another example to count the values up to eight number. Up to eight number means eight states, zero to sevens. What is the number of flip flops required? Here eight states, eight states and zero to seven number. Here maximum number is 7. So convert this maximum number 7 into decimal number. The equivalent by an equivalent for the decimal number 7 is 1, 1, 1. To represent the maximum number in the states, 3 digits is required. That means 3 flip flops are required. So to count up to the value. To count the eight states, three flip flops is required. Okay. If this question asked to count up to count up to the value of hundred thousand higher values, just take the maximum numbers in the states and find the equivalent binary value. Count the digits, you can get the number of flip flops required. And on formula post. Number of states are count required is equal to power n. From this discussion, if number of flip-flop is 1, here number of states is 2. If number of flip-flop is 2 means number of states is 4. If number of flip-flop is 3, number of states is 8. If number of flip-flop is 4, number of states is 16. So you go to remember this formula where n is equal to number of flip-flop required. More 10 counter means more 10 counter. This 10 represents 10 number of states. 10 number of states means 0 to 9 numbers. So the maximum numbers in the state is 9. For this case, what is the number of flip flop required? So the same concept apply the same concepts. Here maximum number in the state is 9. Convert this number into a decimal format the equal binary for the decimal is 1001 to represent the maximum num number in the state four digits four flip flops are required so here for the mod counter minimum four flip flops required we may use five flip flops or six flip flops or seven flip flops but minimum four flip flops is required if we use three flip flops the maximum count up to 111 7. We cannot represent 8 and 9 values. If we use the 4 flip flop, we, may, we can represent. Formula approach. Use this formula. 2 power 3 is equal to 8. We can use up to 8 states. But here 10 states. So 2 power 4. We can represent up to 16 states. 2 power 5 means 32. We may represent up to 32 states, but minimum is required is 4. 4 people is required. So answer is 4. Ripple counter or asynchronous counter. Other name for the asynchronous counter is ripple counter. What is the difference? In the synchronous counter, all the components in the synchronous counters are simultaneously clock applied. But in the asynchronous counter, there is no clock pulse applied. If clock pulse applied, it is not simultaneously applied. 
the clock applied at different times in the counter but the outputs are same for the 2 bit ripple counter states are 00011011 so four states so for four states two flip flops are required so the formula is number of states are count required is 2 power n similar to that of synchronous counter only mechanism only different here clock simultaneously applied here clock applied at different different times so the synchronous counter is faster than a synchronous counter so for mod 8 triple counter eight states of triple counter the maximum number in the eight state is 7 so the binary value for a 7 is 111 so three number of flip flops are required minimum three number of flip flops are required this is one of the asynchronous or ripple counter because in the t flip flop clock is applied but this output of the t1 flip flop is going to the clock of the second flip flop so the clock application is different different times not simultaneously applied so this is one of the example of ripple counter now we will discuss ring counter the ring counter means if the out output count output states changes like that 100 zero, zero. initially the most significant bit have the one the most significant bit one shifted one bit for the each clockwise changes that counter is called as ring counter here this is the initial state 100 zero, zero. this is second state this is third state then return to initial state so here there is three state changes that means mod 3 ring counter 3 means 3 states for the mod 3 ring counters for the 3 state changes here number of what is the number of flip flop required number of flip flop required is here 3 bits so 3 flip flop is required so for ring counter number of states is equal to number of flip flop required if 5 states means 5 number of flip flops required if 6 states means 6 number of flip flop required if 10 states means 10 number of flip flop required the circuits for the ring counter is this is a 6 state more 6 ring counter flip flop because 6 flip flops is there so number of states here number of flip flop is 6 so number of states is 6 for the ring counter, preset input is essentially required to set the initial values as 1 for the most significant bit. The output of the last D flip flop is given to the input of the first flip flop. Remember the ring counter circuits. Initially, this is 1. A clock pulse applied, this bit goes to Q1. When second clock pulse applied, Q1 output goes to Q2. When third clock was applied, Q2 goes to Q3. Similarly, the one bit shifted after each clock pulse. This third one is finally we will discuss Johnson counter. The Johnson counter means the counter output states changes like that. Initially 0, 0, 0. When a clock pulse applied, one is added at the most significant bit. Then second clock pulse applied, the second High, va high values added at the second least most significant bit. Similarly, when a clock pulse is applied, a high values added. If all these are high values, then when clock pulse is applied, zero low values added at the most significant bit. This is a co Johnson counter. Here, this is the uh, initial states. Then, first state, the second state, third, fourth state, fifth state, sixth state, then goes to initial state. So for six state changes, mod six ring counter, the number of flip flops required is here three bits only. So three flip flops required. So the formula is number of states is equal to two into n, two times of number of flip flops required. If number of states is two, 
number of flip flops required is 1 if number of states is 4 number of flip flops required is 2 if number of states are 6 number of flip flops is required 3 if number of states are 8 number of flip flops required is 4 this is an example for the uh, Johnson counter for the Johnson counter there is no record of reset input but in the ring counter preset input is required in the Johnson counter complement output of the last flip flop is given to the input of the first flip flop this is synchronous counter because clocks are simultaneously applied so now do it yourself I listed old TNV TRV questions just try and command your answers in the first question mod 3 counter is already available to design divide by 6 counter divide by 6 counter means mod 6 counter that's all divide by 6 counter means mod 6 counters to design mod 6 counter additionally how many number of flip is required because I already have the mod 3 counters to design mod 6 counter additionally how many number of flip are required we have to find the second question is a decade counter request decade counter means mod 10 counter the third question is how many flip flops are required to consider the mod 128 counters here mod 128 means 128 number of states so maximum numbers in the states are 127 0 to 127 so converts the maximum number 127 into a binary value count the number of digits in the binary value that number of flip flops are required here second is what is the largest decimal that can be stored in the mod 64 counter okay the answer key is in the first question option d is correct for the second question option c is correct for the third question option b is correct if you if your answer is mismatch and if you have any doubts in the discussion just post your doubts in our ncm learning whatsapp center group you can definitely get your clarification keep watching our channel get good marks in the competitive examination thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification like comment and share